Looks like it, with a patent recently granted to Gates awarding him exclusive rights to computerize human bodies and use them as local wireless networks. This curiously alarming venture has many asking what Gates has up his sleeves this time and raising eyebrows about whether Gates' next evil scheme could be dominating humanity. As the details of this patent slowly unravel, it's safe to say that Gates is proving once again that he intends to leave no stone unturned when it comes to advancing technology and asserting power over humans. I'm Gary Franchi, your freedom's at stake. Get the news that impacts America. Tap subscribe right now and help us to preserve it. It looks like Bill Gates has been at it again. He's developed a way to use the human body as a computer network. Who knew that the human body was capable of such things? That's right. Not only is Gates able to capitalize on these new developments with 21st century technology, Microsoft has been granted exclusive rights through patent number 6,754,472 to do just that. Despite Microsoft's uncharacteristically coyness about exactly what it may be planning, the company envisions using the human skin's conductive properties to link a variety of electronic devices around the body, from smartphones to microphones. Civil liberty groups have expressed massive outrage at the thought of Bill Gates being able to patent the human body. Jim Thomas from the ETC group firmly believes that body parts should never be patentable and raises further questions as to whether individuals will have any say about refusing this technology if it is used for tracking devices. Yuval Noah Harari, who is also Klaus Schwab's right-hand man at the World Economic Forum, explains that now, instead of God designing life, it will be up to the World Economic Forum to do so. Watch. Science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some God above the clouds, but our intelligent design and the intelligent design of our clouds the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud, these are the new driving forces of evolution. He also made it clear why Gates' patent means so much. Having been an early mover in computer science, he's been using his money so far on educating people on products and services related to it. With a patent on part of the human body, we can expect him to use his influence and in this regard to influence even how our bodies are designed and perceived. Watch. Beings, the ability to hack humans, to understand deeply what's happening within you, what, what, makes, you, what, what, what makes you go. And for that, the most important data is not what you read and who you meet and what you buy, it's what's happening inside your body. So we had these two big revolutions, the computer science revolution or the infotech revolution, and the revolution in the biological sciences. And they are still separate, but they are about to merge. They are merging around, I would say, the biometric sensor. It's the thing, it's the gadget, it's the technology that converts biological data into digital data that can be analyzed by computers. And having the ability to really monitor people under the skin, this is the, the biggest game changer of all. Uh, because this is the key for getting to know people better than they know themselves. I often give the example from my own personal life that I realized I was gay only when I was 21. And I keep thinking about the time when I was 15, 16, how could I have missed it? You know, so something so important about myself should have been obvious, but I didn't know. Now, today or in five or 10 years, any algorithm uh, of Microsoft or Amazon or the government would be able to know such a thing when I'm 12 or 13 just by monitoring what's happening in my body, what's happening to my eyes when I, let's say I see a boy and a girl walking on the beach. Where do my eyes focus? So this is the crucial revolution and COVID is critical because this is what convinces people to accept, to legitimize total biometric surveillance. If we want to stop this epidemic, we need not just to monitor people, we need to monitor what's happening under their skin. 
Harari also confirms that individuals will not have any control over refusing this technology. Watch. People who are useless, not from the viewpoint of their friends and family, of course, but useless from the viewpoint of the economic and political system. And this useless class will be separated by an ever-growing gap from the ever more powerful elite. We humans should get used to the idea that we are no longer mysterious souls. We are now hackable animals. When everybody has to wear a biometric bracelet which constantly monitors your blood pressure, your heart rate, your brain activity, 24 hours a day. You listen to a speech on the radio by the great leader and they know what you actually feel. You can clap your hands and smile, but if you're angry, they know you'll be in the gulag tomorrow morning. What will be the meaning of human life when most decisions are taken by algorithms? We don't need to wait for Jesus Christ to come back to Earth in order to overcome death. A couple of geeks in a laboratory can... The Microsoft patent describes the use of the human body as a conductive medium for power and data distribution by coupling a power source to the human body via a set of electrodes and then connecting peripheral devices to the same electrodes. Modulating the power signals with digital data and other information such as audio signals enables transmission of data wirelessly through the body. It's clear that Bill Gates and Yuval Harari aren't just dabbling with the idea of computerizing their human subjects, they have a real plan. But what exactly is that plan? While Harari has dropped some obvious hints, Gates continues to stay tight-lipped, leaving onlookers guessing as to his intentions. The main question seems to be whether Gates will implement choice in this experiment or if it will be done against the subject's will. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. certainly doesn't agree with the latter opinion. He believes Gates works with a godlike willingness to experiment on the lives of others and has amassed too much power for one individual enough to make even presidents look inferior. His claim that Gates is treating humans like guinea pigs definitely isn't helping matters either, raising a whole host of new ethical questions that all need to be answered. Bill Gates has done the unthinkable, patenting ways to use the human body as a computer network. That's right. If Microsoft has their way, our bodies might soon be subjected to their total control as they gain exclusive rights through these patents. People from all over the civil liberties groups are speaking out in outrage and alarm at the idea of Gates profiting off of something that should not be commodified or exploited for his personal gain. We must not underestimate who we're dealing with here. Bill Gates is mad with power and will stop at nothing until he gets what he wants. Make no mistake. Gates does not have our best interests in heart, and we must be cautious moving forward. Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi.